Today I'm going to be showing you how to work through a Desmos activity, creating one and running it in class. Um, so as you'll see when you get to the Desmos homepage, uh, you can log yourself in uh, with the account that you've created. Um, and you can search for activities up here in the search bar. You'll see a lot of the Desmos filtered activities. Uh, we're going to go to custom activities to see the ones that we've created ourselves. You can add a new activity just by selecting the button up here. You can also add a new polygraph. That's a popular activity um, on Desmos and you can create your own. So what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of edit our activity to sort of see the types of things that are available. We've got this short activity here. Uh, you'll see in the first one we have uh, students can enter in an answer. They can enter a math expression or text and you can also get the students to explain their answer another input answer again starting with an easier question progressing to a little bit harder and a little bit harder you can also enter in a note instead of a picture we've got multiple select as well uh, where you can also have students uh, explain answers you can randomize choices this one's pretty neat uh, students can sketch this background can be a blank a graph or an image so you can have a lot of possibilities there for students. Here we're getting them to shade in a Venn diagram. There's matching. You can also add in an answer key if you're, uh, have you have set answers. Here we've got them trying to match cards based off of these different properties. And this one we have uh, filling in a table. So just at the top bar you can select a table, you can select a note. Uh, here you can allow students to add rows if you want them to then fill out and complete a table. If we go to create an activity, you can see all the ones at the bottom here. Graph, you can enter in a graph. You can have them draw a sketch. You can do more than one at a time, but the screen can get kind of compressed. Adding in a media, video, image, a note, typing in a question, choice, and different input options as well. If we want to delete a slide, just go to the side very easily, delete. We're going to publish this example. You can also just save the draft if you're kind of in progress and don't want it public yet. So I'm going to publish this one. We can take a look at the dashboard now to see what it looks like after you've run an activity. This will pop up for students to join in on the Desmos activity, either with their laptop or cell phone. Again, some activities are not well compatible with a cell phone, like the matching activities, for example. We've got our different views in our summary screen. We can see where students are. Uh, we can also autonomize the students' names. Um, if this is on the screen and you don't want the students to know who's answering what. We also can see their progress and which questions they've completed and whether they've gotten it correct or incorrect if we've put an answer key in them. We can also go slide by slide and we can see specific answers to the questions. We can also click on summary to see it more compressed. So see again our responses. Uh, we can also select if we previously when we we're making this, if you have put in an answer key, that can be an easy way for you to check. And again, this one allowed students to input their explanations, which is insightful for student thinking. You've got uh, multiple select answers here. This is that image one where they can shade in an image. If we look at the overlay, we can see the most frequent response, which is pretty neat and again categories. So when we were categorizing we can get an overview with a summary of common groups um, and we can also look at specific cards and discuss them with the class. A really handy tool um, on Desmos is the ability to take snapshots of student work and project them to the class in real time. So after you send yourself a link to your cell phone, so before you do this before class, you can walk around the classroom and proceed to take photos and uh, group them as you want. If, so for example, we've took a picture of student work here. Um, clicking present, you can show them the image and then have a class discussion about how the solution was approached um, and look at multiple solutions and how we could extend the question, for example. So lots of opportunities to value student work and have class discussions in real time.
There's also, if we go back to the teacher view, um, we've got the option to paste. So I can restrict it to a, a couple of slides uh, if I want this to be all where students are working. So I can restrict uh, to the first two screens here, for example, and I can edit this as I go. We can also do a pause option, which will pause everybody's screen and prevent anybody from moving forward if we want to have, say, a class discussion to talk about the screenshot. And so that's it. There's lots of things that you can do in Desmos, and you can use this in many subject areas. And it's really easy to get started and to run. Uh, so it's a great thing to try out. So hopefully you've learned how you can give this a shot in some of your classes. Thank you for listening.